In this Hindenburg tutorial, we're going to look at a feature that will save anyone working with a script an immense amount of time and frustration. This could be an audio engineer that is doing a job for a client, or the old school radio producer that still creates an editing script. Let's set up the situation. Here to the right, we have a script that has been delivered together with the tape. There is a number of edits that we need to make. If we play the tape, we can do the first edit. Hedy Sadaka has been in the clothing business since he was a teenager in the 1970s. He points to a thin white line. But, as soon as we have done the first edit, then the time in the workspace no longer fits the time in the script. This is a well-known issue for any audio engineer. Fortunately, experience has taught us that editing from the rear will solve the problem. And the way to do it is to do the last edit first and then slowly move backwards towards the beginning. And not just from the city. This will do the job, but it is rather counterintuitive and mistakes will happen. It would be much easier to edit from the beginning and maintain the time code. So I guess you can see where we're going with this. Let's go back to the beginning again and select the first edit. Teddy Sadaka has been in the clothing business. Now instead of using regular cut, we use reverse cut. He points to a thin white line. All the audio from the left is moved up. And this is just what we want, as the time code is now intact. Literally. So now we can easily jump to the next edit in the script. The time in the script and the workspace fit. Make the edit and quickly move on to the next. And before you know it, the editing job is done. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel.